inequities all around us, but we, but in order to rise above it, we have to control our vessel. How is that freedom? There's no freedom in that. In other words, there is no healing us. We are, we're broken pieces everywhere. There's no healing it. We tried Islam. We tried Christianity. Look, we tried both. We tried protests. We tried all these things. You know what's the one thing we haven't done yet still? Try God. Try the laws of God. That's the one problem. You understand that, my brother? Breaking's gonna come suddenly. My brother, think about this for a second. Why do we have the issues we have in our community? You heard about us? Oh, you heard about us on Clubhouse? All praises. We don't uphold God's law. That's it. That's the problem. We not keeping God's law. How simple is it, thou shalt not kill? How simple is that? I didn't kill somebody all day. <laughs> right, but, but you see what I'm saying? Simple, right? Thou shalt not steal. Right, it's not yours, yeah, don't do don't it. It's, it. I mean, it's a, that's a simple law. These are perfect, simple laws. But our people, because of the iniquity in them, they continue their own. Keep reading that. And God, this is how we know we are the people of God, because this book is talking about us. It's talking about us. We're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. Go ahead, read on. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 13. Mm -hmm. That is broken in pieces. Right. He shall not spear so that there shall not be found in the bursting of it a shirt to take fire from the hurt. So in other words, there is no healing us. We are, we're broken pieces everywhere. There's no healing it. We've tried Islam. We tried Christianity. Right. We tried voting. God. We tried protesting. God. We tried all these things. God. You know what's the one thing we haven't done yet still? Try God. Try, God. Yes. try the laws of God. That's the one problem. You understand that, my brother? What's, I'm sorry, what's your name again? Jerron. 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 What's your name, my brother? Jerome. Jerome? Jerome. Okay. So we're talking about how our people are broken, right? And we're broken in mind and spirit. But we got to learn how do we come back to God? How do we get right? How do we get our vessels right? Go to 1 Thessalonians 4. Start at verse 1. We got to know how to get our vessels right because we can't just talk about it, right? All we do, we do a lot of talking, right? We got Al Sharpton and them, they come to, uh, they come to visit, right? When these, when shootings go down, our people get shot down in the street, they come to visit and they speak to the people, right? Um, Rasheed Carter, right? You know what happened with Rasheed Carter? Right, right. They come and they give the same lip service, right? It's the same lip service. They, they decapitated a man. You understand these people hate us. How do, how do you have it in your mind to decapitate someone? Of, and what they do? What did, he, what did the man do? That's the question. I, what judgment deserves decapitation of the head? And it's not even from us. It's from, it's from so-called Caucasian people so-called but this goes to show you that god is very angry with us right now very angry go ahead read that first thessalonians chapter 4 verse 1 mm -hmm. furthermore then we proceed to brother and exhort you by the lord jesus uh -huh. that as ye have received of us how ye ought to walk and to please god so we gotta learn how to walk and please god we gotta, that, that's how we fix our vessels. We gotta, by action, not just speaking no more, no more lip service, no more just talking about it. We gotta go in this Bible, we gotta get under men of understanding and relearn, relearn. We gotta humble down and learn all over again. That's what Christ meant when he said, you have to be born again. Right. Because why? You have to be renewed again in your mind. You have to be. You, ha you cannot be conformed to this world and live for God. We hear, we hear the iniquities all around us, but, we ha but in order to rise above it, we have to control our vessels. Go ahead, read on. 
so ye would abound more and more. For ye know what commandments we gave you by the Lord Jesus. Uh -huh. For this is the will of God. This e is the will of God now. Go ahead. Even your sanctification. Even that to be sanctified. To be sanctified unto God. Cleansed to God. Yes, sir. Uh, you don't know he an Israelite, too. Okay, we're going to deal with that. Go ahead. That ye should abstain from fornication. Abstain from fornication. Go ahead. That every one of you. You have a girlfriend? Oh, you married. Okay, all praises. All praises. Go ahead. Got papers and all that? Okay, excellent. Excellent. Go ahead. That every one of you should know how to possess his vessel in sanctification and honor. Possess his vessel in sanctification and honor. Because now, but how can we do that if we don't know who we are? My brother, where are you from? Uh, Buffalo, New York. I was born. Buffalo, New York? Okay. You was raised in Philly, okay? And where's your father from? Charlotte, North Carolina. Charlotte, North Carolina. So, what's crazy about the South, right, is when we when we got when we docked in 1608 in Jamestown, that's where the slave ships docked at, right? A lot of my family members too from the South. We all that's where slavery. That's really where it all began down there. So, in other words. Look at this sign. Look at this sign right here. Come over here, Jerome. Right? Look at this sign right here. What would you say you were, your father was or where he fell under? He would be a so-called African-American, right? What they would so-call us African-American. Say that again. Oh, that's what you, where are you looking at? Down here? In order to know where to go, right? You've heard that saying before. In order to know where to go, we have to know uh, where we came from, right? My brother, for example, right? You know about slavery, right? You know about slavery? All right, get uh, Deuteronomy 28, and let me get verse, uh, what's that, the curse? Uh, shall be a sign, 45, yep, 28, 45. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee. Like for example, where's your father from? Right here, right? So you, you would be a so-called, right, you would be a so-called from the tribe of Judah, right? All praises. Because, because the scripture says that in the last days, Judah shall be in the neck of the enemy, right? Who's the most powerful nation on the planet right now? Right, which is what? Say that again. America, United States of America. So most of Judah would be here, right? Even Deuteronomy 33 says that Judah shall go exalt his brethren. He shall go teach his brethren, right? Meaning what? We have the opportunity now to go to the other countries because we got, because we live in America. There's more freedom here. You can get a passport, right? There's more freedom here, exactly. So that proves, right? The so-called African Americans are from the tribe of Judah, and 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 also the scripture says that we would get raised up first. Yeah, I'll show that. I'll show that to you. Go ahead, read that first. Moreover, all these curses uh -huh. shall come upon thee; it shall pursue thee. Colonialism, loss of identity, right? This is this is slavery. These are the things that our people went through. Slave ships. We gonna get to that. Go ahead, read on. And overtake thee. And overtake us. No matter where we go, you, wherever you find out people, you know we got people in India, the so-called dialects and CDs, they suffer the same stuff we do. After two millennia, India's untouchables have had enough. It's the 21st century superpower they live in that's out of touch, they say. Yeah, 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 yeah. They reject the iniquities of caste, a brutal Hindu social hierarchy which today condemns 300 million people to live as non-persons, outcasts, the lowest of the low, they call themselves Dalits, the broken people, the oppressed, downtrodden, but now they're rising up. Poverty. They got, the, um, they're going against, they, they're uh, locked in a caste system, right? That keeps them at the bottom. Right. They got this, they're going through the same thing, bro. It's crazy. Read that. Till thou be destroyed. Till you be destroyed. What's that, be, that's, what's that destroyed part mean? 
exactly. You just switch your mind. Loss of identity. You don't know who you are. Yes, confusion. You don't know who you are. We look at this sign and we think, we're looking at the right side. Like, oh, yo, I'm African American. I'm a Cuban. I'm a Puerto Rican. Right? right? But these are your God-given names. These are the 12 tribes of Israel. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 